Welcome to my groom shop. Today I'm grooming a Pomeranian mix. But first, here's my three month old Basset Hound puppy. Her name is Dill, like a pickle. And here is the Pomeranian mix. He's getting started with the bath. He's getting completely shaved down today. He's a very good dog, but he's got his eye on my puppy. I'm just scrubbing him down with some shampoo, making sure he's nice and clean before he gets his hair cut. He's wearing one of those Sorrento flea collars. I can't get it off, so I'm leaving it on. His mother says that he bites if you touch his collar, so I'm not pushing my luck. I'm using a human head lice comb just to loosen up his eye boogers and remove them while his eyes are wet and he's in the bathtub. I'm blow drying him for just a few minutes. He doesn't seem to be a fan, but he'll be okay. It'll be over soon. Dill is still getting in my way. Now I'm going to step over her and put the Pomeranian away, clean up my mess in the tub. Then I'll get him back out and finish blow drying him on the table. I'm going to go ahead and put a loop on him so he can't jump off the table. I can tell he's thinking about it. He's got him one of those Sorrento flea collars, which can be extremely difficult to get off. So I can't get it off. So I washed him with it on, and I was going to take it off before I groomed him, but it won't budge. I'm going to have to put two loops on him because he's one of those dogs that likes to stand on the edge of the table and spin in circles or stand sideways. So this holds him to the side of the bar from the side, and then it holds him from up above. So. He cannot jump off the table. I'm using a seven blade to shave him down. He comes every about 10 or 11 weeks to get a nice short haircut. That's what his mother wants. So that's what I do. He's still a little bit wet, so the blade isn't going through good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish drying him real quick. His back end is still a little bit damp, and I want them to be completely dry before I cut their hair. It looks better. I'm going to go ahead and brush his tail out with a slicker brush and trim it up. I use a comb just to find any tangles that are in his hair. I'm shaving the pads of his feet out with a 30 blade. The pads of their feet grow hair, and if you don't keep it shaved out, they can get mats or even rocks stuck up in there. I'm 
I'm just trimming up his feet with my slightly curved scissors. Trimming between his toes and making sure his feet are nice and short. I'm just trimming his nails. It comes with every grooming. They get a bath, haircut, and nails trimmed and ears cleaned. I'm just shaving his neck, moving his flea collar out of my way so I can shave around it, but I just can't get this thing off. His mother likes everything short, even his head, so I'm using the seven blade on his head and I'm also using a ten blade on the inside of his ears. I'm shaving the corners of his eyes out with a tin blade because his eyes clearly run a lot so that will help keep them clean to get all that hair out away from his eyes. I'm wiping his ears out with a cotton ball and some ear cleaner. I'm spraying some conditioning spray on him and wiping him down with a fragrance free baby wipe. Knocking off all those loose hairs and I'm going to spray a little water on the baby wipe too to wipe his eyes out a little bit more because he does have those crusty little tear stains up on his face. All the bandanas I put on the dogs are free and I make them by hand. I sew them. This one has ice cream trucks with ice cream on top of the trucks and a little diamond in the middle. He says goodbye and thanks for watching.